So thank God it's Monday, which by the way, Monday is one mono Latin, also in all Latin Romance languages, mono one day. So I am officially declaring Monday, its true meaning of its words, one day. By the way, there is an epic thunderstorm going on behind me right now, which is so awesome. So I hope you get to hear that in the background. I love thunderstorms on the beat. Well, I like thunderstorms. Anyways, so this reading is our Monday, one day, light worker reading for all of us. So I'm trusting there's going to be a message that resonates with every person that watches this video. And if you are watching, thank you. Um, thanks for playing. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's start. Remember this is all about the now and this is just about this week. It just happens to be the week of August 4th, 2014. And if you've been doing your astrology homework and all that stuff, you know there's some cosmic stuff going down. And it's being played out in the Middle East again and in many other places. But anyways, let's see what we need to remember. So um, the current theme of this week is guidance. Okay, this card says... Whilst the shit is hitting the fan, and I mean it literally is right behind me right now. <laughs> I love storms. Anyways, um, your job is you are a guide. You are light workers. Did you see the lightning? Oh my god, did you see that? It totally fucking lightninged when I said light workers. Okay, I'm sorry, but witness. Anyways, um, look, there's the thunder mocking me, surely. But um, guidance, you are the guides now, especially for you people in Israel and Palestine, light workers, and you know who you are. You are the guides right now. You are going to guide people to peace. So you need to hold the space for peace. My little trick, because everybody and their cousin is talking about Hamas. Hamas. Every time they say Hamas on the news or someone says something about Hamas because they are, you know, the bad guy du jour. Um, I hear the word hummus. Hummus. So Hamas, the terrorist organization. Hamas, the body of mass murderers. Hamas. You know, it just gives me the giggles. And it also reminds me that just about every American eats fucking hummus. So they should be grateful that there's Middle Easterns on this planet because they gave us hummus, goddammit. I mean, I can go on Rumi and Sophie Poetism. Oh, and, you know, the language, you know, alphabet, numbers. But I'm not going to get into how awesome and how much the Arabs have contributed to this world. But I'm just saying everyone's being called to hold space. Hold peace, and that means feeling good, loving, and laughing during this time. Because if you get sucked into these old stories, you're just adding to that old story that we are clearly trying to get rid of. So anyways, I'm just going to leave that there. The next card is what's going on in everyone's heads. This should be oh, schizophrenia. Oh my God, of course. Because now everybody's like ego, heart, mind, soul. And, you know, the mind is like you know, um, yeah, you're looking at it and now you're being asked to act out of heart and not ego. And keep in mind, ego shows up in the forms of insecurities, irritations, anything that's out of alignment with you. So anyways, um, this says, trust your heart, trust your soul, no matter what, no matter what. Okay, no matter what others may think, right now your job is you are you are on you are on you are on the job right now, and now um, everyone's being called to hold space and be guides, be light workers, be lighthouses um, for all the stuff that's going on. Right? I'm it, did you see the lightning? It did it again when I said light worker. Anyways, the next card is what we're projecting out. The creator. This is for us. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but you are an architect of life. 
we are all architects of life and they are cleverly interwoven in the bigger whatever I don't 5 20 million gazillion dimensional matrix whatever your job is to be creating visualizing a peaceful solution forever for Israel and Palestine okay your job is to be creating the stop of people using palm oil fucking products because they're burning down rainforests. And guess what? It's not just big companies' fault. We cannot blame big company on burning down rainforests when locals are selling their lands, their sacred lands, which aren't even really theirs, but don't get me started on it. Um, we need to empower the locals. The answer to everything on this planet, people, is empower the locals empower them. That means connect with them. That means communicate with them. That means educate them. That means befriend them. The best security in the world you cannot pay for. The best security in the world is friendship. Friendship with your neighbors. If you want a safe neighborhood, then befriend your neighbors. And that means it, even if they're Hmong and they don't speak a word of English and they're killing all kinds of animals next door and you don't know what's going on, that's their own business. I don't care. They're awesome. They let me sing and dance. I don't care. They're fucking awesome. They never once called the police on me for the top shelf shenanigans we were having at my hut in Chico. I mean, basically we were became a trailer park and we're basically a nonstop festival. And not once did my neighbors call the police and ask, why are you and Nancy laying in the front yard in the middle of the morning? Well, that's because we slept outside because we wanted to sleep under the stars. They did not complain about the trailer in my yard. They did not complain about the homeless people that I let house sit while I was out of town. My neighbors in Chico were fucking awesome. And I even asked them at some point, I said, you know, I know we play a lot of live music in my little hut and all this stuff. Um, if it ever gets loud or anything bothered, please tell me because I don't, and they said no. You know what my neighbor said? They said, every once in a while we hear laughing, and then it makes me laugh. So that's loving your fucking neighbors, okay? And this applies to everything, Israel, Palestine, your neighbors in your cubicles at work, okay? The gospel according to Nelson Mandela, turn your enemies, which nobody really is an enemy, it's all in your head, but don't let me get started there, um, into your partners, because you both share the same goal of wanting to be happy and peaceful and abundant and feel loved and seen and heard. You have the same desires. It just comes in different flavors. Okay, anyways, sorry about that. I'm, just, I'm channeling you, okay? So anyways, um, don't kill the messenger. Um, this, um, the next card is our to-do card. Oh, this should be exciting. Wait, if I can find my screen. Okay, there. Okay, oh, <laughs> fighting. Okay, well, this is stop fighting. Stop fighting with yourself, first and foremost. Love those things. If you're fighting, fighting with your weight, fighting with your masturbation addiction. Um, I'm just laughing because clearly I masturbated earlier today. That was quite awesome. But anyways, I know that was sharing, but hey, I'm all about radical honesty. Um, but stop fighting with ourselves. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to make whatever it is, let it go. Love yourself and, be, and, and you know, do your affirmation. Do, do your stuff. You know stuff. Stop fighting with yourself. As soon as you stop fighting with yourself, you will immediately start stop fighting with other people. Okay? So instead of pulling into those dramas, just be like, I love you. You know, change your response. Stop fighting with yourself. That's all we need to do. If all of us, all 144,000 of us, stop fighting with ourselves, well, <laughs> It's, we're going to, it's going to be like Willy Wonka, you know, when they were in the little elevator. This is the old one. I like both of them, but totally different, not comparable. But the Gene Wilder version, when they pop out, when they blow out of the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, that's what's going to happen when 144,000 light workers stop fighting with themselves. That means fighting with self, fighting with people in your family, fighting with your friends, your neighbors, your whoever. Okay, um, let's go to the next card. Okay, so work and home, um, clinging to the past, stop. Have gratitude for the past, 
have blessings for the future and love in the now. That's your job. Guidance. Okay. Anyways, next card, heart. <gasps> Existence this is my favorite card. And I'm and Alicia has this painting, I believe. I did this painting. I was I love this so much. I mean, I mean I Kelly fied it, but I did this anyways. I loved it. Um, this is all about go to your happy place. Your existence moments are those moments of Zen. It's when you reach nothing, it's when you reach bliss, it's when you're in a state of flow and everything's coming easily. It's clarity, it's serenity, it's tranquility, it's funny, it's um, it's fun, it's nice. So whatever takes you to your happy place, sound healing, yoga, running, sailing. Fucking, I mean, really good fucking, um, and probably with someone who's on the same level. Um, but anyways, you know, whatever it is that gets you in your moment of flow, that brings you to your happy place, do that as often as possible. And if you're truly a master, you can you can integrate it into absolutely everything you're doing: running errands, talking on the phone, writing an email. I mean, if you're mindful and aware, and you're in that Zen place, everything will just. Low. So anyways, this is a big deal card. This is how we we stop the fighting going on in our minds with our minds and hearts and we allow peace um, so we can create and visualize, co-create and visualize. This is a team effort, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Um, a beautiful, peaceful, happy, loving, safe, fucking amazing world. Um, that will set examples for others. Anyways, um, next is your mind spirit. So this is conditioning. Um, this is a big deal card. Um, you are a lion and a lot of the people that are asleep around you and you know who they are and they're probably in your family. They may be in your household. They may be your spouse. They may your, be your boss. They may be your government, even though I don't think they're asleep. Um, well, maybe some people, but you know what I'm saying? Um, you're a lion. So stop pretending to be a sheep. Now is the time to be you. That means freaky you. Why is Lady Gaga fucking awesome? Why is she making so money, m much money and abundance and, and all of that stuff? Well, one, because she wanted it, but two, because she was her own freaky self. Have you noticed this with all the people that... <sighs> that explode with abundance and wealth and joy it's because they're doing what they love they're being themselves they're speaking their truth okay think of people like Roseanne Barr right you know she's like she made a whole tv show off of speaking her truth you know wasn't for everybody I thought it was funny as fuck but anyways I'm just saying now is the time to break conditioning and the, the trick for recognizing what is conditioning, what are conditioned thoughts, programmed thoughts in your head, is when you hear, I should, I would, I have to, I could, those are all conditional verbs. I'm talking grammar here. So when you hear that, that's an indicator, that's a clue to you that this is conditioning that you've learned from your, your upbringing, from your culture, from your, it could be cellular, it could be all the way down to fucking ancestral if you want to get that deep. But I'm just saying, when you hear I should, have to, must, could, or would, that is conditioning and stop that shit and go, wait a minute, that's a conditioned thought. How do I really feel? Like you might be thinking, oh, I really, you know, I just ate this huge meal. I really should wash the dishes to be polite. But you know what? I ate so much food. I have a food coma and I really don't want to wash those fucking dishes right now. Either the dishes can wait until I am in the mood to wash them or somebody else can do them. I don't care. But I don't want to do it right now. That would be the difference between the conditioning. The polite thing to do is wash the dishes after the meal. But instead, your body's like, uh, you fucking ate so much food. You need to like lay down and digest this shit or I will come back and bother you. So that is loving self. That is radical honesty. That is being true to yourself. And that's what gets you out of fighting. Trust that. So let's go to the conclusion card. Oh my God, you're going to like this one. <laughs> Abundance abundance do you hear me your abundance is coming for all of us and you should have indicators you should be seeing signs things should be coming together um, but it is coming I mean it's already here I mean it's already here it's all around you but there's more coming so make sure to check in with the abundance you have 
like like do a gratitude journal today, tomorrow, preferably every day, whatever works for you. I mean, it really doesn't matter as long as you're expressing gratitude. People laugh at me because I will be like walking down the boardwalk and I'll be like, I love that dress. And I will, I will yell that to people walking past me. And um, most of the time, um, which of course depends on that person, um, they love it because they take it as a compliment for as to how they are wearing their dress. But actually, the real reason I'm saying is I'm going, I want that dress in my vortex. Thank you. Thanks, whoever made that. Thank you. I'm showing gratitude just by exclaiming, by telling people they're beautiful, by telling, by, by recognizing and telling people, oh my God, you're a fucking rock star or you're awesome or who knew you could make art out of fucking tiles like that or oh my God, look at you, you're a great singer. I'm not just, I'm not complimenting, I mean I am complimenting them, that's kind of the the, the tricky gift of, of abundance. I am complimenting them but at the same time I'm showing gratitude for that and saying yes I'd like that for me too. I want to be a good singer or I want to be a this or I want that dress or whatever. So anyways there's a million ways to show gratitude. You can do it on painting. You can do it with words. You can do it through service. You can do it through touch. You can do it through um, love-based donations. Um, I mean, there's a million ways to show love. So love and gratitude, they're the same. So, um, and here's the funny thing. The more love and gratitude that you show for others, the more that is reflected back to you and it is contagious and it uh, improves productivity. And you can go, don't listen to me, go do your own inner homework. And I would suggest starting with the Harvard Business Review. So anyways, that is... The reading for light workers this week, Monday. Remember, one day, Monday. It does mono day, mon day. And we should treat every day like this is our only day. Another definition of mono do your Latin homework. Anyways, um, love you guys and thank you for being here and being part of my story right now.